Yeah, good morning from San Jose, Costa Rica. We're at the Hilton Garden Inn right now. This is the morning after our pre-cruise night. We flew into San Jose yesterday. Our flight from DFW to San Jose was scheduled for 10.20 a.m. and it did leave on time. Uh, for those of you that don't already know, we are preparing to embark on a cruise with Swan Hellenic. This is our first cruise with the new Swan Hellenic. I'll describe what that means by new Swan Hellenic here uh, a little later on in this series. Uh, basically, we're gonna be meeting up with SH Diana, which is their newest ship, and that will be in Punta Arenas. But that's about two hours, I believe it's south of San Jose. I'm not sure if it's south or north, but it's two hours away. So uh, Swan Hellenic arranged for pre-cruise hotel, which is at the Hilton Garden Inn here in Santa Ana, Costa Rica, which is kind of just outside of San Jose. And we flew in about 1.30 yesterday afternoon. We got here. Uh, the flight was uneventful. It was okay. We did upgrade to business class on American Airlines. It was an older Boeing 737-800. And honestly, uh, it was showing its age. Uh, the service was kind of hit and miss. We didn't get any pre-departure drinks. Once we got in the air and got going, uh, they did come around and offer some drink service. We each had a glass of sparkling wine. It was good. And they brought us some nuts, you know, before the meal service. Now, one thing American has done is they have kind of upgraded their meal service apparently since the last time we flew business class on American, which was back in 2023. And now you can pre-select a meal online before your flight. I, I picked a, like a beef short rib and Ricky had like a cheese and fruit plate and both were very good. So I was very, you know, the food was fine. You know, okay as far as that goes. Flight attendants were pretty nice. You know, they're okay. Uh, it wasn't over-the-top service or anything, but we did get into San Jose on time. And then we got through immigration and through baggage claim relatively quick. Uh, there were a couple of airplanes disembarking about the same time there at the airport, so we had to, we had to stand in line to get to the immigration officer. I think within about 30 minutes, we were through immigration. Uh, baggage claim came, bags came off pretty fast. We get our luggage and we go out, exit out the airport, and we're looking for someone to greet us from Swan Hellenic. We did locate the gentleman holding the sign. Uh, they work for another company. It's like a, a transportation services company that Swan Hellenic has contracted with. And uh, he basically said, you know, just stand over to the side and we have some other people we're waiting for. And I think he initially told us we were waiting for five other people, and then later that changed to nine other people. That took about an hour. Uh, it was pretty long standing up there at the airport waiting. There was, no, there was no place to sit. They did have some benches outside, but they were full. Everybody was, they were already full with people sitting from other groups. We, uh, we waited out uh, for the hour, and then we were still waiting on one other couple, and that, that took another 20 minutes. And finally, thankfully, they, they agreed to go ahead and take this group to the hotel. You know, you never know. The, other, the people that maybe they didn't show up, maybe they didn't make their flight, maybe they canceled their trip, and the transportation company really has no way of knowing. So you're sitting there waiting on one couple. We got on the bus. Uh, went to the hotel, traffic is a nightmare in Costa Rica, or in San Jose, and really heavy traffic, but we, it took us about 30, 40 minutes to get to the hotel. Got to the Hilton Garden Inn here in Santa Ana, and very nice hotel, very nice for a Hilton Garden Inn. It's the nicest Hilton Garden Inn that I've ever stayed in, and I've stayed in quite a few. It's, uh, it appears to be pretty new. It's in kind of a little mall area. There's like a little shopping mall just outside here, 
and uh, lots of restaurants that you can easily walk to. They also have a pretty nice restaurant here in the hotel and a nice bar. Uh, nice big clean lobby. It's just a really, really nice property. Uh, our room, very large, spacious, uh, two queen beds, huge desk, lots of USB ports, lots of uh, power ports, US style power ports. So <clears throat> we didn't have any, we don't have any problem with the hotel. We think this is really a good choice. If you're going to be doing a cruise uh, out of Punta Arenas, I would highly recommend you check out this Hilton Garden Inn in Santa Ana. It's a very, very nice property. Now, we had had pretty good sized lunch on the plane, so we didn't really do dinner last night. We were a little tired from the flight, so we kind of called it an early, we did walk around the shopping center a little bit just to look around, but we called it kind of an early night. Now, this is the day after, obviously. This is the morning we're getting ready to leave to go get on the ship. Oh, they did have a hospitality desk at the hotel when we got here. Uh, the transportation company had a hospitality desk where we filled out the health questionnaire. We also got our room key. And uh, they have a schedule on a whiteboard telling us what time to put our luggage outside of our hotel room. And somebody will come by and collect the luggage. We won't see the luggage again until we get to our stateroom on the ship, which is nice. Now, we will identify our luggage down in the lobby before we depart. Uh, they also are including breakfast. This hotel, they, we do have a breakfast package, so we do. there's a nice buffet breakfast downstairs. After we identify our luggage, make sure everything's down in the lobby where it's supposed to be, then we'll board the bus for the two-hour drive to Punta Arenas. Now, they did tell us there's no stops along the way. I don't even think they're doing a bathroom stop. I think the plan is we will be getting to the ship around 3 o'clock, that's when embarkation begins, and that should be about the time we arrive, because it, like I said, it's a two-hour drive. So anyway, thanks for joining me today. Uh, make sure, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Please click that notification bell, and don't forget to like the video, and I will see you on the next Cruise Report update from SH Diana. Until I see you next time, smooth sailing.